Well, all right, people. First swap meet since that Rona. <laughs> this is the uh, Trader's Village swap meet. And um, used to just do it once a year. But now that they got a new promoter, I think he's doing it like two or three times a year. So. I saw this car yesterday when I when I came in here uh, when I came over here to uh, did a live. It's a Chevelle, man. Oh, it's a I think it's Grand Prix, yeah. But yeah, because I was out here yesterday and uh, it. Uh, I think we got more vendors yet yeah, today. Was not that many yesterday. I ended up finding a few deals. I was um, Macy stuff, you know. I got for 70 to 73 F body factory AC parts and then 67 to 72 GM truck AC it's not very big as you can see but maybe maybe we'll find some other stuff AC ducks it's like a it's like first gen F body or X body. I don't, think I, I don't think I mentioned to my mom when I started recording. <laughs> she started saying something like, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to get around these people. But um, yeah, we're, we got here late too, man. It's, uh, it's already noon. Normally I like to get here no later than about, no later than 10, 9 preferably, but you know. We had a dentist appointment, both me and my mom. So we ended up... Uh, you know, having to do that first. caldo <laughs> I'm gonna try to get as much as I can in I know some some people but they get all pissed off talking about oh man you know you don't stop you don't go you don't go slow enough you don't go slow enough so everybody can see. <clears throat> if I went that slow, I'd be here 
hours. Literally hours. You know. <laughs> but I think people don't understand that sometimes, you know. They don't that they, they don't they don't really grasp that grasp that. Typically I like to walk through the whole swap meet and then come back and and make the video. So we're not gonna do that today. Because it'll take me way much longer. So yeah. Bloody daisies. There it is, we got that love. I wanna know how much it costs, what they want for it. There's the 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 uh The number two for you. Beauty rings, hubcaps, side mirrors. Center caps. These are hair pretty cool right there, those two. Interesting, interesting build. <laughs> neat. That is neat. A clean looking OBS. Clean, 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 clean. I'm not a real fan of these trucks, I'll be honest. They just look so plain. <laughs> but it is clean though, I'll give it that. She is clean. So I drive it, oh yeah. G-body, G-body, G-body. Oh man, but she's not. This this G-body, this Grand Prix is missing that. This one don't have the aluminum radiator core support, man. Let me uh. There's my, see? Yeah. But it's clean though. Small block in it. I 
And this car wasn't here yesterday. Oh yeah, it's yeah, this car's nice inside, man. She don't got original gauges though. But. And that dash is nice. No, no cracks. Yeah, I got well, I got a dash just like this one, no cracks either. Oh well. Let you see the uh Clean. She is clean. Anyways. Yeah, she clean. Yeah. I thought he was talking to me. I was like, I ain't, I ain't noticed him either. It's neat. You're like, just open them up. Okay. Let's check out this fast back over here. This Mutang. Mm. Check out the Dodge. of extras and they're all inside <laughs> there you go project man she looks solid looks fairly solid uh, got some rust down there Give me some elotes. Yeah, I guess I didn't mention this Trader's Village out here. It's it's all over there. Trader's Village is all over that way. <clears throat> Trader's Village in Grand Prairie, Texas. Right in the heart of the DFW Metroplex. Seen this one yesterday. I don't want that much for this one. Thousand bucks or best offer. There's a number on it. Step up here real quick. Look at that. Uh, that partial vinyl top is gone, but it don't look like she <laughs> she killed the roof though. Looks pretty solid on top. See some rust in the quarter panel though. I'm gonna timbo. Can't open the door, so they got this deal here. But she looks a little moldy. See the radiator back there. It's the, I think the, the door. I think the door panels are there too in the back. Looks pretty straight though. Yeah. Type LT. Oh, she got one dent right here. Last registered, oh nine. That's 11 years ago. Where am I at? Where am I at? This way here. 
Seven Seven Barbecue grills or pits, whatever you call the damn thing. I'm not into barbecuing, so I mean, I'll eat barbecue. I ain't with cooking it though. <laughs> Like I said, I come out here, I don't really find that much in terms of stuff at this place, at this, at this swap meet. Oh, heater. But, um, I was, I, I think I was a vendor out here a couple of times too. Came out here and set up a few times, but, uh, like I said, it's pretty small, man. You know, it's, it's not very big at all. And if it was like far away, like if it was a couple hours drive or two, three hours, I don't know if I'd even, <laughs> if I'd make the trip. Maybe, I don't know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really into swap meat, so. Check, I, man, I thought this was pretty cool. I thought it was like they had cut one of these box, tr box trucks down, but evidently this is the way they came. decked out. Look at that nice uh, aftermarket uh, under dash up in there. Yeah. <laughs> Go back this so you can see what I Yeah, apparently it says a few hundred of these all aluminum body trucks were commissioned by Frito Lay to, to pull concession trailers for events. It's pretty neat. It's got an LS swap though. Yeah. No price though. <laughs> if you want to know, you know what that means. It's going to be expensive. <laughs> Fifty for that stop sign. I mean, uh, not stop sign. I'm talking about. What is that? The heck is that thing? Hmm. For the import guys, man, check this out. That was pretty. This is pretty clean looking, looking ride, man. Eighteen thousand or trade, and she is clean up in here. That right hand drive. Nissan Skyline. I saw these yesterday. 
something didn't look right about this one over here. It looked a little different than these and the, this other one here. Mm. First car of our own. Got a set of those Kragers. They've been doing this swap me for years, man. Long time. And every now and then I find some stuff. There's the number on it. There it is. Here it is. Clear title. I think this guy is yesterday. He, uh, I was looking at his engine stand, and I, yeah, sitting right there. There's his engine stand right there. <laughs> A second let me look over here <clears throat> tell you what's up in a minute anyways I was looking at his engine stand <laughs> and he came up and asked me like hey interested in that engine stand I was like oh, I'm just I'm just looking man you know and he's like yeah, it seems like that's what everybody's doing. Just looking. No one's buying. I was like, well, that's, you know, the way it goes, I guess. I don't know. And, uh, he, he, he got upset, man. <laughs> he said, I can't, I'm trying to remember what he, how, how, what he said exactly. It was like, uh, it was like, I, I think he cursed or something, like, to himself. Like, oh, you should, uh, it's messed up. I don't know what he said. I can't remember, but I, I know he, you could tell he was upset. <laughs> but hey, man, I mean, shoot, you know, you can't, uh, you know, people don't want to buy, they don't want to buy what you got. I mean, it is what it is. I like this car. I do. I do, man. Heck yeah. But I don't like that price. <laughs> California car. Got some rust up in the front though, but still though. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. <laughs> it's nice. Oh, buddy. Come on, buddy. Buddy roll, buddy roll. Let me go around the other way. Excuse me. Uh-huh. Go 
go around this way here. Get another view of it from the back end here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, buddy was in the view, man. I didn't want him in the picture. This might be a good, good shot from my thumbnail. Let's see if I can get it again without old buddy in the way. Yeah, there we go. All right. I like this one too, man, but damn. I think they I think I saw their 8500 they want for it. Man. The Chevy Deluxe, is it? Yeah. She looks fairly solid, man. I'd say she probably is. Take a sec over that door real quick. Like the color too. I am partial to green, greeny, greeny. Get that uh, information. Watch, they might. Are you interested? That car is nice, man. It don't oh. need any medical. Oh yeah. Work at all. Yeah, I can That's see that. Right yeah. That's a nice one. The tires too. We look inside here. Been sitting, you can see the rodent poop. Yeah. Yep. Fortunately, that price for me, that's too rich for my blood. Too rich for my blood. It rained last night. Yes, these guys kept their stuff out here. And they've got LEDs for like turn signals. No. Actually, it rained pretty hard last night. Actually, well, yeah, it looks like they left all this stuff out. <laughs> Oh crap. He's getting ready to load it up. Like I said, I got here kind of late, so. See the price? Ten dollars they want for this. In case I don't know what this is, it's an AC unit, aftermarket air conditioning unit, the evaporator unit itself. It's, it's pretty compact, you know. This will fit in some tight spots. Vacuum operated. 
open and close the doors. But I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a, yeah, I'm gonna take a, uh, take a risk on this for ten bucks. Like, yeah. You want a, a ten bucks on that right there? The, uh, the uh, no, the um, uh, that AC unit. The AC unit down there? Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh. Yeah, 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 10 bucks. Alright. See that? Yeah, they put a bigger one in a truck. I don't know why they put a bigger one. <laughs> I don't, uh, something like that should be able to cool yeah. down a truck, you know? Yeah. Big cab, anyway. Yeah, it should be, uh, but you know how. I'm from Houston, so it's hot. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it seems like a good deal, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. Alright. You came all the way from Houston? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You do the one over there? The grad the the yeah. Church Village one over there too? Is that I used to do this one every year. Yeah? When it was in September. Okay. And I just stopped doing it. Cause it got too hot. Yeah, so I bought that that uh that that aftermarket AC unit, the the evaporator unit. Ten bucks, man. That's it was used, but it must have go wrong with it, something like that, man. You know, I'll take the risk on it for ten. It's a, it's a, it's a small, compact unit, fit in some you know in tight spaces. So he uh guys from Houston he's done this swap meet uh, a while back but he also goes to the because there's another traders village in uh, in Houston as well I think I've been to it once years ago so I just started talking to him about it asking him he said it's a little bigger than this one it gets a little better I might try it. It is a four hour drive though. <laughs> LS stuff. Now the bat wing. Bat wing oil pan for the uh, Corvettes. For the Camaro, the newer Camaros. Hmm. Anyways, let me check out these keystones, man. Did I see these yesterday? I don't know if I saw these yesterday. <sighs> They're 14s. That sucks. I'm looking for 15s though, man. Damn. Hope I ain't going too fast for y'all. <laughs> Some people get so pissed. Oh man. YouTube gonna hit me with that copyright, man. That the Hano music playing hard behind me. 400, 1976. I got two of these 400s. It's, I wonder, does he swivel? Uh, decent, decent. Yeah. Hmm. 
That's interesting. I never seen one way down here like that. <laughs> they go to tool man, they always at these these swap meets. Me, I prefer to find mine. I like the thrill of the hunt in the yards. Some of these deals to for curing what do they call these things? Yeah, a kiln, that's like uh, yeah. Remember that brand? <laughs> Woo, look at that price. $3,250 for the Dodgy Van Prospector. They had these in vans too? I didn't know that. Village Cadillac Dodge. Interesting. <laughs> Short wheelbase. No, uh, no number on it. Uh, or was there one up front that I didn't see? Uh, no. Nah. On the other side, maybe? No. Nah. Wait a second, look at that. Warning! Protected by a Radio Shack security system. For y'all young jits in the future, uh, uh, rocking the baby moons, they, uh, Radio Shack was a store <laughs> where you could go buy electronics and stuff. <laughs> I remember Radio Shack. Yep, remember it as a kid. Actually, I mean, it was a few years ago, it was still around. 
went like it was gone freaking 20 years ago or something like that. Seen this one earlier, man. Look at the size of those Ashantis, boy. Oh, we rocking. What size are these Ashantis? Man, we can't even see it. That ain't down here. Maybe yeah, I can see it on the other side. They big though. Look at the size of that lip. Hey. Okay. They distressed it though. You can see where they distressed it. The paint that is. Got a nice uh I don't know if y'all can see it, y'all probably can't, right? Nice looking bench seat in there. Yeah. Same size in the back, right? I don't know. Oh, I can't see it over here either. Bang. Oh wait, I can't. Uh, oh, trying to take off my money. I'm gonna lose my $10 bill. That says 25. I mean, honestly, 24, sorry. It's 24, so what the hell was I looking at? Ugh. All right. Yeah. I always, I always like the way the, the cut out there. I know some people don't like that, but I do. I like the, the exhaust comes out like that. I like these two, these two doors right here. Yeah, this one here, man, they've been trying to sell this one for a while now. See there at multiple swap meets. I'm rocking out.
one was in here yesterday. I, think I, I swear I've seen this one at uh, on Facebook Marketplace. That Monte Carlo wasn't here yesterday neither. Oh, this one wasn't here yesterday either. Let's see. Six grand. Good time. Ding. Normally I might ask or whatnot. This place right here. Uh, well, back to the place uh, uh, that that on that Impala. I would have asked, but he's uh they're playing that music, man. I stopped there, started talking to him. They're gonna YouTube is gonna ding me. This place right here, Southwest Classics. They uh, in Arlington, is it Arlington, right? Yeah, right down the road from here. They come to a lot of these uh, swap meets, and they, uh, it's a speed shop, you know. Still, still trying to compete with the big boys, you know, like Summit and, and Jigs. We got a 67, Elk Dog, Elky. Oh, this is a non-air car. It's a savage. I forget his first name. Fred. I forget his first name. He's got a. Uh, I can tell because he paints all the all of the vehicles are painted like that with the flames on it. He's got a a wrecking yard. Well, it's a classic car salvage yard, I guess. Slash. Slash. Uh, like a used car lot kind of thing. And uh, he. I've been out to his yard a couple of times. I bought some stuff from him. Not the cheapest, but you know, not too bad. I like this cameo, man. This is a, I've seen this one here before. This thing is clean, clean, clean. Yeah. Got the fiberglass uh, bed, if I'm not mistaken, right? Isn't it? She is clean on the inside. There's the info. It doesn't uh check out the ramp truck. What's up man? Alright. Wish I could have been out here earlier, you know. When it wasn't hot? Yeah man. But I had dentist appointments so I got stuck. That's the way you say it's got the uh the LS on it? Yes sir. Yeah. I wanna come around, I'll check it out real quick for you. Good to see you. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, he's a, this guy here, Hot Rod Hunters. They're, uh, 
he, him and his dad, I think, and his and a friend, I think, they do. Uh, you know, they're out there. You know, well, as their as their business name implies, you know, hunting down hot rods. His dad. I, I mean, I think I. On one of my videos, I showed his dad's car. He's got a Nomad, if I'm not mistaken. It's a, and it was really nice. I was driving down uh, Highway 10. To, I used to live by that road. And just driving by, and then he just happened to have his... his uh, he was recording it. And just out of nowhere, man, he got side-swept in the back end, man. Took out his quarter panel. They repaired it, though video I showed and I don't remember which one it was at a swap meet and he uh they fix it you know like nothing ever happened to it oh uh, check out the cotton lock baby <laughs> I used to rock one of these I destroyed one of these against the guard bro Heck yeah. Yeah, I destroyed one against the guard room, man. I fell asleep. I was coming home from, uh, yeah, I was like in college. I remember I had studied late for a for an exam. And it was like an hour and a half drive. This is a cool one right here too, right? I like this. And yep, fell asleep. The guard was the only thing kept me from going in the canal. <laughs> Smacked the corner of it. Bam! Got stuck. Told the car, but saved my life. So you know, give it up to the G bodies. Check out these tri fives. Got a four door and a two door here. Actually, was this, this has been converted. Is this converted? This may have been a conversion. I'm gonna say this is a conversion. What do y'all think? Looks a little too big. Oh yeah, I can see the line. I think I can. I don't, may, yeah. It's the same number here. I think all these all these vehicles are, are theirs. Sold, sold, sold. She sold, man. Four door hard top caprice. With no uh not much of an interior. Well, she sold. Three fifty. <laughs> What's up with that? Uh, there's the info on this one. The square body blazer. It's an 83. I don't know these vehicles that much, man. Oh, man, that guy left. Damn, I was going to check out that. Oh, wait, he's over there. Damn, I ain't make it. Oh, well, man. That's what happens when you get here late. Yeah. That's what happens when you get here late. 
Wait, stop. I want to check out your 63 Impala. That is. We'll check out the appliance wheels. Wonder what they want for these. Oh, two hundred dollars. What size are they? Oh, I can see the bent though. They got some bins on them. I know where there's a set though on a car, so. I think I can get them a little cheaper than this, but I want to set. I want to set it like those. Oh no! Nice. Well, I'm working in the warehouse. Yeah, she's rocking tweed too, man. I haven't, I haven't seen <laughs> tweed interiors in a while, man. Man, I tell you, tweed interiors were all the rage back in the '90s, man. Early '90s, mid '90s, early '90s. They were all the rage. I wanted to get some too, man, but. Afterwards, I saw how they wear. <laughs> like into the 2000s, I started noticing how they were. Uh, how they didn't wear. Tweed does not wear very well. <laughs> yeah. We got another 67 Elkie. Uh, she's got the SS hood on her. Four speed. Now, this one's an air car right here. AC, baby. <laughs> this might be who, who it is right here. Might be the owners. Saying 327. All right. We'll unload it if you want to buy it, buddy. Oh man, I don't got that kind of money. <laughs> yeah, I don't have that kind of money. I'm broke. I'm po. <laughs> All right, man. Let me check out the hot rod hunters, man. Square body. I'm not sure what year this one is. <laughs> He's rocking the utility bed. Let's see, it should say up here if it's the correct one for this truck. Uh, an 86. All right, 86 model. If that's if that front is correct. Looks like it is though. Yeah. Six liter too. Says uh, I guess they put the utility bed on. There's their number. So are they for sale? Or are you just every day? Yeah, I know everything's got a price, huh? <laughs> yeah. Whatever, you, you guys aren't at that place anymore, yeah. right? Where did you go in the... Uh... Our shop's right off Weaver. Off of Weaver? Yeah. Okay. Weaver and uh, Building H. Building H. Yeah, okay. it's like 20, 
Weaver. Uh-huh. You guys, uh, so what are y'all doing now? Are y'all just like, uh... Just playing. Really? Just build. We have so many cars just building stuff we like. Yeah. Okay, see, so yeah, I remember when you were right off 10 and... Right, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah we're, that was our buddy. We actually opened the shop with him, or just, just us and him. So anyways, guys, yeah. Cool dude, man. Yeah. Cool dude. He's a... Him and his dad, they build the, you know, build old rides like these. And the, sometimes they sell them. Sometimes, you know, they, they've held on to some of these for a good while. So, but I think that's going to be it. I don't think there's anything else left here. So, you know, if, uh, if another swap meet is coming up soon, you know, obviously I'll, I'll be trying to check it out, man. So, I don't know when my phone cut off when I was talking to him so we got here 69 dash I don't even know that I don't even know that but um, yeah whenever we got another one coming up uh, best believe I'll be trying my hardest to get to it because y'all know me I love them swap meets I love them swap meets